top of the food chain, rocking with a rat tail. King sanitation, cover that the trap mail. Murderous assassins harassing a black male. How you think I made it in the game? It's a rat tail. Never made a black belt. You don't wanna. Yo guys, what is going on? Timpus here, and welcome back to another video on the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make a really cool Fortnite YouTube banner over in Photoshop. I have done one of these videos before, but uh, today I'm going to do a more up-to-date version. I'll be showing you some different tips and tricks uh, throughout the video. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make this right here. I did post it on Twitter, so a few of you guys might have seen it. But for the people who haven't, this is what I posted on Twitter. I'll be showing you guys how to make it. It was a Nikkei 30 YouTube banner. Um, and it got some really good feedback, so I'll just be showing you some really simple stuff like how to make the background, the Fortnite character, like the positioning of the guns and stuff, and then also like the text itself. Uh, it's really simple stuff, and the graphics pack that I will be using in this video is called uh, the Atmo Artworks Fortnite Graphics Pack. It, you can get it on YouTube, it's free. Um, so I think I'll put a link in the description for you guys. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. The first thing you will need to do is get a picture of a Fortnite background some sort of wallpaper so um, there's one in this graphics pack but you can probably find some on Google so I'm gonna go over to Fortnite backgrounds cinematics and I'm just gonna choose one of these um, I think I'll just choose this one it doesn't really matter uh, for tutorial purposes <clears throat> I'm just gonna use this one you just want to drag it in and then I'm just gonna delete the background press ctrl T bring it to the center and then just increase the size of it so once you've done that uh, the first thing we're gonna do is go over to gradient map um, actually I can delete this now um, so yeah gradient map and choose a color um, I'm gonna choose red but what you want to do first is make this one black let's bring it down to black and choose in fact I'll I guess I'll do a different colour for this tutorial. Could do like a nice purple like that. And you can leave it like that or you can bring it across and make it a bit lighter. Something like that would be quite nice. So once you've done that, you can press enter. And then we're gonna go over to brightness and contrast, bring the brightness down a little bit and contrast up. Something like that. You can pause it and copy it if you want color curves make a little s shape so bring that up bring that down a bit exposure bring the exposure up a bit offset up a little bit like so and then gamma correction up a bit and then go over to color balance and then whatever color you're you're, you're going for you kind of want to make this match so a bit of blue a bit of magenta and a bit of blue as well and then you can group all that together and it looks really nice, really nice change. And then what you wanna do is go over to a new layer, brush, make sure it's on white. And then right in the middle, you wanna add a spot of white. Bring down the opacity of that a little bit as well. Add a new layer and then go to black. And then around the outside, you just wanna add a bit of black. That's like a little shadow, draws, um, draws like the eye to the center of the work. So it's a good thing to have like a shadow around the outside. So yeah, we've got that. It's looking really nice. Next thing, you want to get a picture um, of a Fortnite character. Um, and you can get it off um, a website called Fortnite Battle Royale. Um, just type in FNBR and it should come up. Um, I'll just show you right now. I've already got some images saved. So, But I'll show you guys anyway. You just want to open up Google. Um, just wait for it to open been a bit slow so yeah guys uh, you want to go over to Fortnite Battle Royale and then go over to the icons area and if you scroll down quite a bit you go over to the icons and as you can see they're quite small all you want to do is just right click on it and press save as whichever one you want um, I've already got quite a few um, saved already but I guess I can choose a new one. Might just go for this one because it's kind of purple and it'll match the theme we're going for. So you just want to right click save as and then you'll be able to save as when it starts to load. So yeah. So yeah, I'm just going to press save now. 
save it wherever you want um, and then I'll just come off that now um, and then yeah you want to go over to file place embedded go over to where you saved it hopefully it did save yeah, so we'll use this one right here and it's good quality as well which is what you want when a high quality quality image and I'm just gonna bring that below the shadows and the light which we put at the top and you want to scale it down a bit Make sure it's right in the middle. Uh, press Control uh, uh, R, and then you can bring the rulers into the middle. Just move it down a bit. So yeah, that's looking good. Um, so the next thing we're gonna do now, guys, is we're gonna add some text to it. So yeah, we want to go over to the text tool, and then. Um, I'm just going to put tutorial, but you guys obviously put your name, and I'm going to use white. And the font that I'll use, I think, you want something quite bold. This one could work. You want it quite big as well. Make sure it's in the middle. Like so now we're going to add some. Um, we're going to add some blend options to it. So we're going to double click on the layer over here, and then what we're going to do is going to go to gradient overlay you want to click on that and make sure it's black to white 90 degrees and about 30 percent and then add an inner glow as well and also a drop shadow uh, i've got my drop shadow on 30 percent spread is on 23 size 16 distance zero um, and then what you want to do is go over to the rectangle this is what i did in the youtube banner so i'm just showing you guys what i did for that and then you want to choose a colour similar to the background colour, the theme you're going for. So mine's like a dark blue slash purple colour. And you want to make it about the size of the text, maybe a little bit bigger. And then rasterize it. Bring it below the text as well. And then what I'm going to do is going to hold Control, Shift, and Alt, and then in the middle, the little square, and then move it to the right. Something like that. And then I'm just going to align it so it's even on both sides. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on the rectangle layer and I'm going to add some more um, blend modes to it. So add a gradient overlay to it, an inner glow as well, maybe an inner shadow as well, and also a drop shadow. So you've got something like that, it looks quite nice. Uh, what you can also do is um, hold shift and click on both of them and hold uh, control G and then Control Shift and Alt, and then maybe you can move it a bit more. It's up to you guys. And then press Control T again, and then maybe you could rotate it. Something like that. It's nice. And then I might leave it that for now, but then what I'm going to do is add a new layer. Go to the brush tool, make it white. 
Um, you don't want it to be too big. So I'm just gonna press Control Shift, uh, Control Alt right click and move it to the left a bit. And then you just wanna click in certain places and we're gonna do one there. I'm also gonna do one there and I'm gonna set it to overlay. Then bring down the opacity of that a little bit. Next thing, I'm gonna add a new layer. Go to the color you're using. So mine, I'm using like a dark blue purple color. You want it to be a look quite big. So Control Alt right click, Ooh. and then move it to the right to make it bigger. I'm gonna click one there, maybe one up here as well, and then maybe one over there, and one over there. And then we're going to set that to color dodge. And then bring down the opacity of it a little bit, not too much. So yeah, that's looking nice. Next thing, I'm going to add a spot of white to the bottom. I've done something. Wait. I did something to the circle. So it's like a bit slanted now, but oh well, I'll have to change it after. And then what I'm going to do to that is just bring down the opacity of that. So yeah, it's looking really nice. And then also in the YouTube banner that I made in the example, I had some guns behind it. So I'm just going to quickly show you how to do that. I'm not going to show you um, everything, but I'll show you guys most of the stuff that I did. So I had two of these shotguns. You can also get these off where you got the skin from, the character skin as well. So yeah. I'm just going to make that a bit smaller. Like so, and I'm going to bring that below everything apart from the character itself. Zoom in a bit. And I did something like that. Press Ctrl J, Ctrl T, right click flip horizontal and then move it to the other side and then if you want to make sure it's a directly in the middle uh, hold control click on the other one press control G to group them both together then press control T and then press control H to bring the rules back up and then the little anchor point in the middle should be directly in the middle and that shows that it's aligned in the center both of these guns. I also added another gun to it, but I'm just going to leave it like that for now. Um, what I also did though is I double clicked on the group of the two guns and I added a gradient overlay, set it to overlay again, and I bring brought up the op opacity of it quite a bit, and I also added inner glow to it. And yeah, that is pretty much it. I also added some triangles around, around the outside, and for that, all I did was I used the pen tool and I just went like this. Make selection, alt backspace to fill it in. Press Ctrl D and then as you can see you get some cool triangle effects. Um, but I also added other things such as I added some smoke at the bottom and you can get the smoke from the graphics pack that I was using. Uh, as you can see, if I go up, there's quite a lot of stuff, paint, water stocks, clouds smoke flares i added a flare to it as well i think it was this one right here so if you just bring the flare in press ctrl t and i kind of aligned it just on top of the rectangle box like so zoom in a bit I don't think that's aligned properly. I think that's perfect, that. And then I press Control U, and obviously the flare's blue, you want it to be purple. Something like that. Um, but yeah, and then I added some smoke, I added some particles on there, and yeah, that's pretty much it. And you can add other stuff, maybe add some colour spots, add some more colour corrections to blend it all together. 
Um, but other than that, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to hit the like button down below. Let me know in the comments what other videos you want to see on the channel. And yeah, subscribe if you are new. With, uh, with that all being said, I uh, hope you enjoyed. Hope you're having a sick day today. And I'll see you guys in the next video.